Hello there! Welcome, you all lovers of the art, ladies, gentlemen, dogs, cats. I hope we love them all. We don't discriminate here. And welcome to the newest episode of Belgrade Art Attractions, powered by Glue Gloves Features and Belgrade Art Show. I'm Milica. And today I will be your lovely, tiny, small, big little host. And I will guide you through the world of art and the events happening next week. So we have a lot to talk about in this episode, as always. So grab your notebooks, grab your pens, grab your tablets or whatever, and get ready to plan your week ahead. So first, friendly reminder that the aim of this show is to try to help promote and tell you what art happening, uh, happenings and events are happening next week in Belgrade. This can be completely anything related to art and links for the events mentioned in this video will be down below so you can check them and learn more about them and even read through if you want to. Plus, if you want us to mention your amazing event, anything art related or even if you think it's small, tiny and irrelevant, we love tiny stuff, please send it to us, small is cute and it's very important. So read it please, let us know by sending us an email to bellartattractions at gmail.com and belgridartnews at gmail.com with the exact times, dates, locations, photos or even a video link to the event and any more material information that you have will be very useful for us and very interesting to look at. We will add your event to our next video and at the very beginning and the best part, it's free advertising for you and work for us, we like to work dude. So, we will not charge you to mention your event in this show. We just want to help you spread the word and to have a lot more work to do because we feel useless when we don't. So, we want to help you with what we have. So, now with the paperwork we have, let's get into it. It's fashion, baby. Welcome to the fashion part of our show today. So, fashion box. Sounds fun, right? So, the Belgrade Art Show Fashion Box is a conceptual artistic uh, presentation of fashion art in the form of fashion vignettes in the gallery space. The first fashion box will be held this Saturday, 27th of June, from 3 p.m. to the 4 p.m. at the Ozone Art Space in Gavrilo Principa Street 16, so near Knez Mikhailova. Four models from the collection of the fashion brand Senka, meaning of shadow, will be presented to a selected audience, which could be you. And there is also of an educational element to the event, where the audience will hear from a fashion designer, and he has really so much, she has really so much to say. Her name is Senka Djordjevic, and she can inform you about the design of the exhibited creations through the presentation of sketches and explanations about tailoring and ideas. So she's very experienced in the fashion world and you can learn a lot from her. The makeup will be done by the World of Education and media coverage is by Youth Culture Channel. Video production is done by BGF. And visitors will also enjoy the installation of the exhibition under the beautiful name of I had a dream where I was hugging everyone. Relatable, right? By Stefan Knezevic. Best part? Well, not the best part, but the practical part? Free entrance. Check it out. Hello friends, do you have trouble experiencing memory loss? I mean, I certainly do, I'm 23 and I forget everything. What did I eat yesterday? What's my name? Where do I live? Jeez. So, related to that, the title of this part is a friendly reminder, because we all need it. Before we get into more new stuff, we'd like to, as I said, remind you about the art exhibition by Sidora Fičević called Svaka tačka novi početak, or Every Point, a new beginning. This show starts on the 10th of July and it's being held until the 27th of July at the FLU Gallery in Knez Mihailova 53. We got the dates right this time. The exhibition will be an interdisciplinary multimedia that will look at the themes of personalized space of cities, based on her personal experiences with living and moving in different cities in time, such as Istanbul, Linz, Hiroshima and our beautiful Belgrade. The medium will talk about the metaphorical significance of the culture and dynamics of the cities, both contemporary and traditional. The second show, also held by Sidora Fičević, and it's held at Prodena Galeria from 10th of July to the... from the 2nd of July, sorry, I'm bad with numbers, to the 20th of July. 
So this one revolves around four cities and it's in abstract form and relating to the uh, color of the points. Now, on a side note, we don't have any associations with these events, places we're just about to mention. We're just being friendly and reminding you of all of the events. Another reminder that we mentioned in the last episode is the second French film festival, oui, which is coming very soon, like this Wednesday soon. It runs from 24th to 27th of July in the new drive-in cinema at Ada Tsiganlia called The Cinema Under the Stars or Bioskop Ozvezdama. The festival was made possible in the cooperation with the French Institute in Serbia, Combank Hall and MCF Megacom Film. There will be four films showed on the screen of Ada and to find more about the film festival, which I'm sure you want to, check out the link in their event below. Now, more new stuff. You started! Yeah. Jesus. Okay. Pop -pop -pop Movies. Films. Películas. Film movie. Whatever. So, there is a great bar that shows films and you can chill there and watch fun. And it's often great. Great works of art with your buddies. And if you ask me, it's the cutest small place in this city. So it's called Bife Ventil and it's located in Kapetan Mishina 14. They show different films on Mondays, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Plus, they often host music events with all kinds of interesting music and all kinds of local interesting and cute small DJs. So they host parties, events, sometimes gigs. And to keep up to date with what is happening, check out and like their Facebook page, Bife Ventil. So another place that is showing a movie is Radnički Muzej Trudbenik on Luna Tamilovanović 6 in Belgrade, Serbia. This movie will be uh, 2001, The Navigators. It deals with the privatization of the railway and the story is inspired by touching through events. A small group of railway, work railway workers from South Yorkshire is facing numerous business problems caused by the privatization of their company. The closeness they once had is now replaced by insecurity and confusion. Unexpected decisions dismissals, manipulation and corruption of the management will bring the once successful company into the brink of collapse and the five main characters are trying to learn and cope with the new changes and provide for themselves and their families. A series of films about the workers' struggles is being realized within a micro-project supported by the platform. This event is hosted by Radnički Muzej Trudbenik and Samobrazovni Institut i Universitet Svetozar Marković and it is in English with Serbian subtitles, so feel free to check it out. It's very educational and interesting. If you're looking for more to tickle your eyeballs, check out your Caravansara's Facebook. They have a lot of stuff coming up. A collection of Soviet animated films, which are very rare, on the 27th of June from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can find out more in their link below. And since they have a lot coming up, we just mentioned two of them to catch your attention. Did we? Anyway, you can find Caravan Sarai on Sveto Zaramarkovića 68. Hi! Are you smart, like me? Do you read books? I know you do. So, we're gonna talk about book promotions now, so that you can confirm that you read and that your mom knows it and your family knows it and your friends know it. You want that, right? So, really trying to go all out this episode, as you can see. <laughs> so, anyway, the new capital edition of the Film Center of Serbia, the book The Writer's Journey, A Mythical Structure for Writers by Christopher Vogler, will be promoted this Thursday, June the 25th, at the Arcade Gallery, on the first floor of the Belgrade Cultural Center, starting at 7 p.m. The playwright and professor Anna Lasic and screenwriter, film director and professor Georgi Milosavljevic and the director of the Film Center of Serbia, Gordon Matic and the editor of the publishing activities of the FCS, Miro Ljubstojanovic so much names, will talk about this important work. For those that do know, uh, not know Christopher Vogler's key work, we'll give you an example and a script so you can pretend you're smarter than you actually are. So, The Writer's Journey, Mythic Structure for Writers. It was released in 20, uh, 2007 and now it enjoys a cult status. And there is probably no writer who has not at least heard of the structured theory that The Writer's Journey deals with. At the very heart of this major work is a theory that most stories can be broken down 
into narrative structures and archetypes described through a mythological allegory. Hello and welcome to the theater part of our show, my personal favorite. So, that of your theater, remember, it's on Desenke Maximovic Street uh, 61, has another showing of the famous Ljubovna Lektira, or Love Reading, on the 30th of June from uh, 7th of July at 6 p.m. for both dates. It will be shown at the children's stage at Tashmaidan, so check a link to know more if you want to. And uh, Ljubovna Lektira is a very interesting review of love poetry from lyrical songs, the aim of this play is to show a contemporary side and a contemporary view of love through a selection of the 15 most important love songs, which they will show through 15 actors on stage. This is not the recitative type of view, as it usually is, but it will be a video conversation that will examine what is today socially acceptable and what was socially acceptable before in the part and segment of love relationships. Furthermore, Academia 28 on Nemanja 28 is still going very strong with the repertoire. The upcoming productions are Otkačene or Crazy on Thursday, 25th of June at 8 pm. Tickets go going for 1000 dinars. It is hilarious comedy, vaudeville, and musical based on foreign TV series, which follows the ups and downs of a family in today's world. It's in the city with their attempts to live like the whole normal world. Sounds Serbian, right? So, they are trying to deal with their problems in a mature and responsible way, like all of us, but they don't succeed. Again, like all of us. Sorry, mom. So, um, they will not succeed at it, which I said a third time, because I'm used to not succeeding. And it all leads to a series of comic situations, which makes it easier. A bit. Oh, the drama. We all like drama. I mean, admit it, it's easier for you that way. And you remember when we mentioned Otkaceni? I mean, if you don't, then you have a really serious problem with your memory, like I do. Well, Otkaceni, or Crazy, has a sequel. It's Povrata Kotkaceni, The Return of the Crazy, where the same characters will go into new incidents and accidents. And you can catch the continued mayhem on Tuesday the 30th of June at 8 p.m. The tickets are going for 1,000 dinars. Academia 28 on Nemanjina 28 is way ahead of the curve since they have plans coming up for the first few days of July. Check it out on the link below. <gasps> Hold on to your chairs, babies, because more venues are showing their place, such as Terazia Theatre, for those in search of a musical. Terazia Theatre will be showing their musical Mamma Mia, here I go again, on Tashmaidan, and it will be played on 25th and 26th of June at 9 p.m. with the tickets going for 500 dinars. Another one from Atelier 22 on Svetogorska 21. It will be held on 30th of June at 9 p.m. and they will be hosting the opera of the Serbian National Theatre from Novi Sad on the Belgrade Summer Stage on Tashmaidan. They will be performing their comical opera in two acts, The Barber of Seville or the famous Sevijski Berberin. The opera will be two hours and 40 minutes long with one break. Check out their link below for more info. Another one from BDP or the famous Beogradsko Dramsko Pozorište is a show Trpele, They Suffer, on 27th and 28th of June at 8.30 on their small stage Predrag Pepilaković. The play Trpele or They Suffer was created on the basis of documentary material, authentic confessions of women with victims of violence. The transcripts of interviews conducted by the Helsinki Committee for Human Rights in Serbia with women who killed their abusers were based for material. Teater Levo, or Left Theater, which one is left? This one? Yes, will be showing their legendary play, Rastibudjilizovane Klebezable. Yeah, I said it right, you try. Hm. Rastibudjilizovane Klebezable. Yeah, will be held on June 28th at 8 30 in the big hall of Akut Ivo Lola Ribar Theater. At Resovska 11. That's their longest running cult play, and it's a collection of sketch and parody which makes fun of our lives. I mean, as it should, right? So, the language is Serbian and the entrance is free, but you have to book your seats before. You can book places by calling or messaging the number uh, 064 237 1417. 
I recommend seeing this play from the bottom of my heart because it will most definitely make Snort laugh. Like I did, like... <laughs> it was very embarrassing, but I don't regret it. So, the next part are theater premieres. On Sunday, the 28th of June, also in Academia 28, you can catch Moderna Baika or The Modern Fairy Tale at 8 p.m. This play is said to be a combination of fashion and acting, and it's a comedy about marriage then and now, where through the burden of the internet and the belief of fortune tellers, I mean, it sounds confusing, but it's fun, uh, the main character, Yelena, disrupts her aunt's plans for the marriage she is preparing for her. The tickets cost 800 dinars. Welcome to the exciting part of the theater premieres. So, the 2nd of July has become the date for premieres, since we have found two. In his mind is the untold story about Jack the Ripper, through a fictional look at his troubled past. It will be a highly immersive theater experiment, with media already describing it as exciting, provocative and unique as it is. With a versatile and experienced cast of performance, which we know two of, hello friends, we love you, and a new unique setting that will take you back to Victorian England in his mind, is bound to create the most memorable experience for anyone visiting Belgrade. The play was penned by a team of US and Serbian writers, Jordan Parks and Jovan Distic. Go to their site to know more and book your place, since seats are very limited and they can only fit 15 people inside of the house. Yes, house. Not a stage, but the true, real house. So go to inhismind.net to make sure you're one of the 15. It will be held in English. Thank you. Well, hello again. So, at the same date, the 2nd of July at 8 p.m. at Academia 28, in the street of Nemanina 28, yep, them again, there will be premiering a new play called Komitrese Trashnitsu or Who's Shaking My Cherry. By, uh, the play is based on the 1972 film The Sniffer by Harold Pinter, and the plot describes the making of the promotion video for the original song Bacha Kazamaya uh, as the marketing announcement of the play, in which we want to show Marinkovic in the world of actors and the world of YouTubers who are around what revolve the money and fame. It is in Serbian, and the price of tickets goes for 1,000 dinars. Hello there, I didn't see you. Did you know that I was the state, uh, state champion in uh, violin playlist? Play, play, play. Yeah, that, that was completely true and I didn't make it up, so you can check somewhere. So, this part is about music. The last event we will be mentioning is 19 Ni Petak, Stray Dog Uživa. It's the most intimate Friday, Stray Dog Live. This chill music event we might need one more after this video, you know. It's happening on Friday, 26th of June at Kwaka 22, so the Catch 22, Roosevelt 39, starting at 9 pm till midnight. It is hosted by the indie band Stray Dog and Kwaka Kwaka 22, so it's not only an evening of songs, but there will also be some talk about the songs, how and when and why they were created, anecdotes that can be fun, but also shocking and interesting at times. This gig is intended for a small number of people to create an intimate atmosphere, but as well to keep the safety precautions, which we think is very smart. There will be only 50 tickets, so if you want to get yours now, keep uh, an eye on their page uh, and uh, click on the link below. This is a wrap for this video. I hope you liked it and check out the links below and thank you for watching. Let us know which one of these events would you like to attend or what types of events uh, you think uh, you would like us to mention or cover in the future. Please hit that subscribe button to keep up to date uh, with the events of the art world in Belgrade and why not share this video to support us and 
to tell people around what you think they could maybe like or, you know, want to see. If you can't, and if you want. And you can just, you know, show this to your dog. Hi! So, let us know if you want us to mention your event, once again, totally for free. Our director still doesn't want her art diploma to go to trash, so help yourself out by sending us an email and info about your event to bellartattractions at gmail.com or bellwithartnews at gmail.com. If you want a Serbian version of this show, which is also awesome, check out Bell with Art Show's Bell with Art News. Another link below, but at the top when it's ready. See you next time for me, Milica, and all of us at BEA, Bell Art Attractions. Bye!